What's up everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another buy now before rare Nintendo Switch video. I know it's been like a half year plus since the last video in this series, but we are now back to get one going. A couple of ground rules guys, this is going to be US pricing and also US game sales and games. But remember, the European versions of a lot of these games are going to be cheaper, but aren't as valuable. So keep that in mind. A lot of these are also going to be Amazon pricing, and the pricing does vary if you're going on eBay. So just remember to keep all of that in mind when heading into this. But before we get into everything, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first and let's go ahead and first start off with a game that recently came out that is fairly new and that is xenoblade chronicles 3 on the nintendo switch this is 52 dollars and 38 cents the special edition right now is going for 199 dollars and 99 cents via ebay and the reason why i say pick up this game is because xenoblade games have a very really weird like trajectory you know in terms of how it sells after some time xenoblade chronicles 2 and torna became rare afterwards going for 60 70 80 dollars and kind of leveling out with reprints so you probably want to be on the safe side and pick up xenoblade chronicles 3 at some point for the next i would say like couple years and maybe the prints of this game goes down now i do feel that this game is going to be more in print than the previous games with xenoblade chronicles 1 and also xenoblade chronicles 2 but you can never be too safe when it comes to a xenoblade game and if you can get your hands on a special edition for 199 dollars 99 or even better yet if you got it for 99 dollars 99 the original price for it then hold on to that because the xenoblade chronicles 2 special edition is going for over 300 dollars on ebay so i'm guessing that this special edition is going to be worth more in the future so hold on to that now next up is a game that i think that i covered before on this series but i want to just make sure that i bring it up again and that is live alive on the nintendo switch here in the us it's 49 dollars 99 cents still that standard msrp but the reason why i think that this game isn't going to drop is because of the nature of the game it is a remake of a game that was never previously released in the US or in the West at all. It was Japan only back in like 1994 or so, kind of a precursor to Chrono Trigger and what they wanted to do like with the whole time and dimensions and stuff like that. So Live Alive is a good, solid and safe pickup for collectors out there. And it's also an incredible game too. So you also have to factor that in just along with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. These are both great games. So if you have some extra cash, check out Live Alive. Maybe there's even a Black Friday deal to where you can get it a little bit cheaper. I know in Europe it is a bit cheaper right now too. So just keep that in mind. Live Alive, pick that up before too long. Now, next up is a game that also recently came out as of the time that I'm recording this video, and that is Near Automata, the end of your edition for $39.99. Now, the reason why I bring up this game is because this is one of those impossible ports that has everything on the cartridge. You're not going to have to download any type of extra huge DLC to add on to it, which does help increase the value of games out there. When a game is partially on cartridge or not all on there, you have to download stuff that does de decrease the value just a little bit outside of a game that is already complete and maybe you have like a little bit of an update to help with performance and everything but if the game is all complete all the different type of stuff right there on cartridge it usually ends up doing well for the value of the game down the line near is a very unique game it's a very good game as well on the switch so i highly recommend checking it out it's not bad when it comes to the price right now 39 dollars 99 cents or you can wait a little bit to see if you can get a discount but this is also one of those games that square enix probably didn't print a ton of copies of these so it might be safe to just go ahead and pick it up right now or sometime soon just so you can have it because i think in the future you're not going to see these near automata the end of your edition cartridges all over the place so check out near automata the end of your edition on the nintendo switch if you can now next up is the great ace attorney chronicles now this game is on sale right now and it's 24 dollars 99 and you know me i love it 
when we get games that weren't originally released in the west and they bring them over these games always have a little bit more heightened value if there's some type of backstory to it and this game you get two in one north america and europe first time ever we get to experience these 10 episodes from the great ace attorney adventures and the great ace attorney 2 so these were only previously available in japan so i highly recommend checking out this especially for that price of 24 dollars 99 it's usually 40 bucks capcom is usually stingy sometimes with these cartridges and the sizes and stuff and everything so the fact that you get two of these games on the cartridge and it's not like one game and then like a download and wanted to cheap out on the cartridge is actually really good so that's why i recommend checking out the great ace attorney chronicles for this price. Now, next up is Sheeran the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune and the Dice of Fate. Now, this game is a bit older. It's not super old, but a bit older. It's $59.99 on Amazon, and the price just is all over the place on eBay. And this game is already kind of rare. The fact that this is not a high profile game and it's 60 bucks at this point already tells you that it's probably going to be rare in the future and it's already getting kind of rare right now so this is a very unique game i mean you kind of go through these different worlds filled with these monsters it's almost like one of those like rogue games type of things so anytime that you experience it it's going to be a different type of thing within these dungeons and you can learn strategies and skills and all that to overcome it and it's one of those things to where i like checking out games like this on the switch because these are the type of games that going forward like might never be on cartridge again or the developers are just going to do all digital or cloud games and stuff like that so getting your hands on games like this these smaller independent games or these smaller games from these publishers that are still 60 bucks right that probably shouldn't be that price are good because they're probably going to be worth a lot more in the future we've already seen a number of games like this just skyrocket in price on the Nintendo Switch, so you might want to jump out in front of it, especially if you're a Sheeran the Wanderer fan. You might want to just jump out in front of it, pick up the game, bite the bullet, $60, and see how the value goes in the future for stuff like this. But this has like rare game written all over it at this point. So if you have a copy, you got something kind of rare, and if you're looking into getting it, might want to pick it up now before these prices go up and balloon over $60, $70 or so. Now, next up is a game that is actually pretty affordable, and that is SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. Right now, sale, $29.99. And the reason why I want to bring up this game is because the history of this game was really weird. Nintendo, like, saw the game and was like, oh, we'll make it for the Switch. And they were like, uh, it's just on PlayStation. They are like, make it for the Switch. We'll even help out. And they ended up doing it. But it also rusted development, so it was only in 30 frames for a second for a 2D fighting game. So they didn't really get the proper time to develop it on the Nintendo Switch. But at the same time, these cartridges are probably not going to be around for really long. I think that they're just getting rid of the last stock that they've had now for a number of years. And I think that they're pretty much done with the printing. So if you can pick this one up on the cheap and then later it becomes more valuable just because it's SNK. Not because it's an incredible game or anything. It's not a bad game, but it's SNK. And it's a very unique type of game. It's a very different type of game. You know, SNK heroines, you know, all female cast and everything. I think that it might be something worth looking into. The online still works. It's still up and everything. I mean, you got all sorts of specials and cool, flashy different moves that the characters can do. But there's even some more weird stuff in the game. But I highly recommend it because $29.99, not a bad price for it now for a game that's probably not in print anymore. And probably within the next two, three years or so, you're not going to be able to see this cartridge around at all for decent enough prices. And if you can get a new copy sealed right now, that could even be worth more in the future. So check out SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, $29.99 right now. So next up is a game that recently launched on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Persona 5 Royal. And I know what everyone's going to say with this one. Hold up. Persona 5 Royal for 60 bucks buying down at this point. Not necessarily. I mean, you can wait on this one and see if you can get a discount on it. I actually think that'd be the best thing to do. But the reason why this is really valuable or this will be valuable is because it's the royal content, everything all there, and it's on a cartridge. This is the most unique version of the game. It's Persona 5 portable anywhere that you want on a cartridge. I think in 
10 years from now or something like that when everything's all digital when steam deck is taken over the next generations of steam deck or whatever nintendo does going forward and things are just really digital this is going to be one of those things that's like whoa do you have the persona 5 royal that's physical anywhere that you want everything on cartridge right there i think that Pick it up now at this point. Either get it now or wait for a couple price drops. But I feel that Persona 5 Royal, because of the uniqueness of the game, the fact that it's on cartridge, and that just has some type of thing. There's just some type of thing with SMT or with Persona or with Atlas and their games becoming rare that are on cartridge. We've seen it with multiple SMT games before, or even like PS Vita, right? Like a lot of the Atlas games. So to me, it's always worth Whenever Atlas does anything, it's always worth picking up, you know, a game that they make on the Nintendo Switch that's on cartridge when you can, because their games usually end up being expensive for some reason, because they don't print a ton of them. So Persona 5 Royal, incredible game. Obviously, you guys know about the game. If you don't pick it up, check out my shorts review on it or check out anything that I've talked about the game before in the past or just the reviews. It's awesome got a really good review score it's a great game it's worth every bit of the 59.99 if you've never played it before but i highly recommend checking out the switch version for collectors out there because it's a unique version of the game to have that on cartridge anywhere i mean i think that's going to be worth a lot way distant into the future now next up is a little bit of a unique and interesting situation because it's a game that's old at this point. 2017 Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Now, this game's dirt cheap. You can find physical copies for as low as $15 or even lower than that, depending on where you are. However, what we're looking for is the Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, where at the bottom you can see includes the Pixel Pack 8 unique weapons. That's what we're looking for. Now, on other copies of the game, what they'll do is they'll take the emblem that's at the top, the over 50 E3 awards and nominations, and they'll put that right there. And we're also looking for the U.S. versions. Remember, guys, these are all U.S. versions of it because it varies in terms of, you know, valuable and all that based on everything. So we're looking for the U.S. You know, version of the game, you know, the ESRB, and it has that pixel pack one on there because I think that is the version that's probably going to be worth worth a bit more also it needs to be new if it's not new you've got to make sure that you check because that pixel pack is a downloadable code it's a downloadable code on there and if somebody's already used it then it's probably not going to be worth as much in the future and i think i'm kicking myself because i used mine so i need to find another mario plus rabbits kingdom battle sealed with the pixel pack unused and i think that version of mario plus rabbits is going to be worth more going forward in the future because of that little caveat there with it also more people are looking at mario plus rabbits kingdom battle because sparks of hope recently came out which is doing really well sales wise so i think that people are going to want to go back that didn't play the first one and check it out so if you have a more unique version of it it could increase in value down the line so yeah check out mario plus rabbits kingdom battle and look out for that includes pixel pack eight unique weapons for the u.s version of the game now next up ai the summon and files nirvana initiative now this is a game that i think i've also covered before but i wanted to bring it back up because it is on sale right now and at this point $39.49 this game is pretty much held at its $60 price tag if you have the special edition that's also going to be rare going forward in the future just like the original AI the Summon and Files that game was also rare with the special edition as well they don't print a lot of copies of these so I just wanted to make sure that I bring it back up to get your attention I'm not big into these games myself these visual novels slash interactive type of experiences like where you walk around and do like detective stuff and all that it's cool and everything I've played the first game not my cup of tea overall but still i like collecting them because i have both of the games now at this point so these games are always just worth a bit more in the future and i think that way down the line games like this these unique weird type of experiences that don't get printed a lot are going to end up being worth more so definitely check out ai the summoning files and the nirvana initiative and if you can get your hands on one of the special editions definitely do that because i know for a fact that's going to be worth more in the future now, last but definitely not least is also a game 
that launched recently as of the time that I'm recording this video, and that is the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. It is $49.99, and I highly recommend this game. It's a phenomenal game, but also some of the Nippon Ichi software games, like the Ease 8, La Cremosa of Donna, and some of these games do end up being a bit more rare because of the printing of them. They usually don't print a ton of copies. Now, I do think that The Legend of Heroes will have more copies printed than some of the other games because it reviewed really well, and it's doing well sales-wise. Physical people are picking it up out there so i do see nippon ichi software printing more of these as the sales continue to roll in but i do think that you should just get in on it you know don't wait too long before you pick up something like this because at one point it can just be gone kind of like how ease eight la cremosa of donna the day one editions at some point were just gone you just couldn't find them then they did a little bit of a reprint and now they're somewhat kind of hard to find again this could happen with the legend of heroes trails from zero so just be on the lookout for that it's a fantastic game if you want to play it if not if you want to just collect it just go ahead and collect it 49.99 is not too bad but at the same time i mean you could wait to see if there was a discount but once again don't wait too long on games like this because that's what happened with ease 8 la cremosa of donna so what do you guys think about the return of buy now series and these games are there any games that you want me to take a look at? Please make sure you drop them in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we will see you for the next video. Peace.